SLM4 self-loading concrete truck mixer is a new 4 cubic meter concrete truck mixer researched and developed by XCMG Schwing, a joint venture under XCMG Group. By integrating the functions of existing truck mixer and mixing plant, it can realize automatic loading, weighing, mixing and discharging, and finish transport and on-site operation. Before operation, carefully check if tire pressure, hydraulic joint and water box are leaky. If there is enough water in the water box, and if the chute lifter sleeve is stuck in catch and locked, and ensure that nobody may affect the construction. Before starting the machine, firstly, take off the limit plate. After entering into the cab, the operator should fasten safety belt, turn on rotary warning light, pull up turret lock, then rotate the seat turret by 180 degrees, and switch to work mode through travel work steering mode switch. Move the mixing control handle to the max, and the drum will start rotating clockwise. See from the direction of discharge port. Then move the water pump handle to inject water into the drum as per the formula. Then shift to low speed gear. Release the handbrake and adjust the direction combination switch to forward gear. Drive the machine to where cement is stored by controlling the accelerator. Break the prepared bagged cement in bucket and then raise the lift arm and bucket. Press down the pilot lever button and meanwhile push the lever rightward to open the bucket gate to unload cement into the drum. After unloading is finished, press down the lever button and meanwhile push the lever leftward to close the bucket gate. Drive the machine to the stone heap. During driving forward, push forward the pilot lever to put down the lift arm and bucket, and then push the lever rightward to lay the bucket flat for shoveling. After the bucket is filled with stone, adjust the direction combination switch to neutral position. Push the lever leftward to tilt the bucket completely, and then pull the lever backward to raise the lift arm and bucket to the highest position. Press down the pilot lever button, and meanwhile push the lever rightward to open the bucket gate to unload stone into the drum. After unloading is finished, press down the lever button and meanwhile push the lever leftward to close the bucket gate. Note the stone weight displayed on controller. If the added stone is underweight, then go on with shoveling. When the controller shows that the stone weight in bucket exceeds the set value, raise the lift arm to a proper height and operate the pilot lever to control bucket gate opening and closing to remove excess stone from the bucket so that the displayed value reaches the set value. Finally, unload the stone into the tank. Load sand of the set weight in the same way. When the sand in bucket exceeds the set value, operate the pilot lever to control bucket gate to remove excess sand from the bucket. Keep the lift arm and bucket in lifting state. The drum starts mixing at the highest rotary speed and keeps for one to two minutes. When the machine travels to the worksite, the drum should rotate at low speed, and two to three revolutions per minute is advisable. When the machine gets to the worksite, operate the drum lifting handle to separate the drum from the limit slot, and then control the drum operating handle to rotate the drum anti-clockwise. After the drum turns 45 degrees, control the handle to stop the drum swivel and then install a lengthening chute. Push the operating lever to the discharging position. Keep the engine running at idle speed and the mixer will start discharging. Remove the lengthening chute after finishing discharging. Then turn the drum to traveling state and lower it to the limit slot of the frame. After every operation, use the water and pressure tank for a timely cleaning of the drum and chute. After cleaning, install bucket limiting plate, connect the lift arm and slewing support of the bucket, 
and lock them with pin bolts. The following is a brief introduction to the notes on daily use of the machine. The main power switch when the machine is parked for a long time or some part of the machine is being welded must be cut off. When the machine is unused for long, its bucket must be put on the ground flatly. The limit plate must be installed in place during traveling and taken off before operating the bucket. Change the engine oil filter, fuel oil filter, hydraulic oil suction filter, and hydraulic oil return filter after the initial 100 hours of operation and afterwards change once every 250 hours of operation. Change engine oil after the initial 100 hours of operation and afterwards once every 250 hours of operation. Change axle gear oil after the initial 250 hours of operation and afterwards once every 1,000 hours of operation. Check all lubricating grease injection points once every 50 hours of operation and timely add grease if not enough.